Function. This is the Function. Welcome back inside the Now Morning Show. Hope you're having a great morning so far. Well, we have the free vacation revision programs under the Ministry of Education to give you some information this morning. Let me welcome the curriculum coordinator at the Ministry of Education, Nisa Siopal. Good morning to you, Nisa. Good morning, and thank you so much for having me. Not a problem at all. How are you doing this morning? I'm good, thank you. Nice. So tell us what the vacation revision program is all about. So the vacation revision program is an exciting free program mm -hmm. offered by the Ministry of Education. It gives students an opportunity to enhance their competencies in areas that are essential for a strong educational foundation in the fundamental areas of mathematics, English language arts, and English language arts writing. Okay. There are also sessions in visual and performing arts, courtesy the Best Village Unit, and there is support uh, for students and parents by school social workers and mm. guidance counselors. Fantastic. Now, I, if I'm not mistaken, this would have started as a response to what took place during the COVID-19 pandemic. That's correct. Yeah. So who exactly is the target audience for this? So we have uh, the program available at the primary school level and the secondary school level. Nice. At the primary school, it caters for students in standards three and four at the 80 primary schools of focus. Mm -hmm. And at the secondary level, we cater for students who would have scored a composite score below 195.249 and are entering form one in September. This will be at 18 selected secondary schools. So this will be for the students who just did SEA That's and about correct. to enter secondary school. That's correct. All right. So when, well, how long is the program, first of all? How long does it run for? The program at the primary level would have already started right. and runs from July 8th to August 9th. And at the secondary level, it starts today, nice. July 15th until August 16th. Until August 16th. So we're still giving them a little chance to, to relax and breathe and not have to worry about schoolwork too much. But the mm -hmm. Vacation Revision Program also offers visual and performing arts, right. so we get that as well. Of course, definitely. Um, where is the program going to be held and what days and what times? Okay, so at the primary level, it will be at 80 primary schools of focus, and those are listed on the Ministry of Education's website. And just to be clear, the, the students have to be students of that primary school to attend? That's correct. Okay. They have to be enrolled at that school. Right. And for the secondary schools, it will be at 18 centers. The program runs from Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Okay, and, to, and the secondary school is the same deal. They have to be enrolled in that school to come to it? No. Uh, uh -huh. Secondary school students can choose any of the 18 locations regardless of the school that they will be attending from September. Okay, so it doesn't matter what school you go to. If you see one that's closer to you, or if you're going by granny for the vacation, you could say, well, the school closer to granny, so I could go to this one. That's correct. All right, fantastic. And how can they register to be a part of it? So the primary school students do not need to register because they are already In enrolled, yeah. right? But the secondary school students, they can register online on the Ministry of Education's website www.moe.gov.tt mm -hmm. or at any of the 18 secondary school centers across Trinidad. All right, and remind me the times you said it was running. It's Monday to Friday. 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. 9 to 3 p.m. So they could sleep a little bit later than they would for <laughs> usual school. All right, now this is this is promising. Why should parents encourage their children to register and be a part of it? There are many reasons. One, first of all, there are free meals provided every day for students. Don't say that. And, of course, students can choose any of the secondary school locations, regardless of the school they will be attending in September. Mm -hmm. um, also, this is a chance to jumpstart your education for secondary school. Yeah. Also, if there were any challenging concepts at the primary school level, this would be a chance to re-engage with those concepts. And also, there is support for both parents and students from the Student Support Services Division. All right. Um the, in terms of who's facilitating these classes, is it the same teachers that would have been teaching all year round? Do we have a special batch of teachers coming in just for this, or how does that work? There are teachers specifically trained by the University of Trinidad and Tobago mm -hmm. and through in-house training with the Ministry of Education. Okay, and they will be just... Um well, they'll be sent out to the various primary and secondary schools. Or yes. In the primary schools, is it the same teachers that would have been teaching from before? In most cases, yes, it would be the same teachers. Okay. 
All right, so they, I mean, technically teachers get less of a break this, this, this vacation period around in some cases. But what can these students look forward to? You mentioned the visual and performing arts as one of the, the more fun side of things. But what else can they look forward to? So they can look forward to small classrooms with personalized instruction. Mm -hmm. They can look forward to the turn-up caravans, which would have information booths. They would have motivational sessions, and they would also have giveaways. They can also look forward to that, that feeling of confidence and comfort in entering Form 1 in September. With respect to the visual and performing arts, these sessions include TASA, Drumology, Dance, and many others. Nice, man. That's, that's fantastic. Um, if parents want to get more information, they go to the, the website, I imagine. Yes, that's mm -hmm. correct. All right, and that's uh, moe.gov.tt. Vacation Program 2024. Okay, so slash Vacation Program 2024. Yes. All right, this is this is absolutely fantastic. Um, uh, but, you know, the, the interesting thing for me is that we get in these students ready for, for secondary school, we get in them ready for primary school. Does this replace the idea of a, of a vacation camp, or is it similar to a vacation camp? It's similar, but it also gives the students the opportunity to ensure that they're comfortable with content mm -hmm. moving forward into Form 1. So yes, it's fun, but also there's that side of it as well. All right, and, I, and you mentioned the guidance counselor aspect of things. How important is that to, to the entire process, and do we have enough guidance counselors? So we will always be looking for more, but yes, at this point in time, we are ensuring that all schools will be serviced with the guidance counselors, and it's very important. So that's the 80 primary schools plus the 18 secondary, secondary schools. schools. Each will have their own guidance counselor. No, well, in some cases, they will be shared, right. but they will all be serviced. Okay, and how often are we expected, uh, are they expected to, to see the guidance counselor? As often as needed. Nice. All right. Um, we, we, of course, there are lots of, lots of challenges that I imagine would, um, would have come up in terms of, you know, why we started this program. We, we would have seen, as you mentioned, COVID-19 and the impact it would have had. How are the results looking this year in comparison to, to last year, for example, when this program was initiated? So I'm very happy to say that we have seen improvements in the secondary entrance assessment, mm -hmm. as well as in the scores that students are obtaining in secondary school. The, the program so far has been very successful. Right, so we see the difference between when, when we would have done the exam versus when they entered the school system, the scores would have been remarkably different. Yes. Nice. Well, I'm really, really happy to hear that and we look forward to seeing uh, how it, it, of course, comes to life and, and gets better and better and the students continue to benefit from it. Tell me a little bit more about the Turn Up Caravan. So the Turn Up Caravan is designed to just uh, give students this opportunity for something out of school so that when they come, they would be able to provide information in a variety of areas. Mm -hmm. And also there is that aspect with the giveaway, so it makes it very fun for the students. Okay. Uh, you know, we've been talking about including the foreign students, the, the, the um, immigrants into the, the school system. Are they also allowed to partake in this vacation revision program? So migrant students will be enrolled migrant from students. September this 2024, year. yes. So the ones that would have been, uh, that, that are clear to enter secondary schools or, or no, nobody? It, any student that has already been enrolled right. will be available, will, will be allowed. Mm -hmm. However, the migrant students, according to the amendment to the Immigration Act, will be allowed to enter from September 2024. Okay, so they can look forward to next year's vacation revision That's program. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in terms of, in terms of, of prepping, I don't know if you will have this information, if you can help with this, but in terms of prepping those migrant students, are we, are we doing anything to, to be able to prepare them to enter the school system in September? We have had an education working group group that the Ministry of Education has been working with and yes there has been preparation for those students in terms of um, assessment to determine where they are for entry into the schools and also for teachers uh, to prepare for migrant incoming students. Fantastic. Well, we look forward to seeing how that unfolds, of course. Uh, any messages that you want to leave with Trinidad and Tobago as we get ready for the Vacation Revision Program 2024? Yes, parents, please do go online at the ministry's website to ensure that you enroll your students for the secondary school experience. And thank you so much for having me today. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Lisa. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of the day and all the best with the Vacation Revision Program. Thank you so much.
That's Nisa Siopol, Curriculum Coordinator at the Ministry of Education, just chatting with us a bit about the Vacation Revision Program 2024. The secondary school kicks off today. Uh, primary schools would have started since last week, and they're going all the way through till August. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a quick break, and we come back with more on the Now Morning Show. Stick around. When we come back, we're talking Best Village. Education.